Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. First of all, wish you all a very happy Diwali and we hope that you have a great time with your family members uh, during this festive season and also the next year brings about a lot of happiness and prosperity and gives you a lot of wealth uh, through investment uh, from the entire Sher Khan family. Uh, talking about the global markets, friends, we had some weakness in the US markets. Dow was down almost about half a percent and even Nasdaq was down about 0.25%. Uh, there are some difference of opinion coming about the tapering and the possible impact that it could have on the liquidity flow in the markets. So, uh, which is what is visible in the way the markets are behaving. The European markets too were uh, mixed actually. FTSE was down about 0.69%, uh, uh, but uh, DAC and CAC both were up almost about 025 to 0.61%. And when we look at the Asian markets today morning, Nikkei is down about 0.73% and Hang Seng is also a flat to marginally negative and uh, we can also see some bit of weakness in most of the other Asian markets. Uh, back home friends, our markets uh, managed to touch all time high level of Sensex just a striking distance uh, yesterday at about 21,250 or thereabouts and Nifty managed to close at about 6300 levels which is the highest closing that we have seen in the last about 3 years time. So uh, during the Diwali time, we are close to all-time high, so people are in a celebration mode. But the fact of the matter is that the broader participation in the market is clearly missing uh, this time around compared to what we had seen uh, earlier in 2008. Uh, in terms of flows, friends, FIs were net bias in the cash market to the tune of about 1850 crore. The domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about 560 odd crore. And in the index futures, the FIs were biased to the tune of almost about 550 to about 600 crore. So it remains to be seen whether we are able to sustain this rally over the next few days as we have more queues both local and global or we get some kind of a correction that we'll be able to find out over the next few days. On that note, let me invite Sadhna to take us through important f &O queues, the rollover data and possible ideas that we can have on the f &O side. Good morning friends, let's have a view on derivatives. After positive sentiments from Indian as well as overseas markets, yesterday expiry turned to be very remarkable, remarkable expiry for the Indian equity markets as markets were near all time high and crossed the level of 6300 um, levels and conclude the session with a gain of 0.49%. In this period, uh, we have seen that Nifty Futures uh, November series started with uh, 2.44 crore shares in Nifty Futures as compared to 1.89 crore shares last month and PCR is at 1 which is also a good sign for the market. If we talk about rollover activity, uh, market wide rollover activity as well as Nifty rollover is comparatively high. Uh, as compared to three, last 3 months and 6 months average and uh, on the options front, uh, 6,200 and 6,100 put option started with around 20 le 28 lakh shares in open interest and uh, 6,300, 6,400 call option started with almost 25 lakh shares in open interest. So we may see market may uh, trade in uh, this range but uh, if we look at the current market scenario and mo momentum, uh, we feel uh, 6,100 uh, might act as a good support on closing basis and 6,500 can be targeted for the month. And our monthly settled break even point is 6062 on lower side and uh, 6538 on higher side. From intraday perspective, one can go along on NTPC with a stop loss of 147.85. Thank you and happy Diwali. Here are the important uh, news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, the companies that will be announcing numbers Kansai Narrow Lake Paints, we are looking at a net profit of about uh, 52 crore for this quarter. Um, Berger Paints, we are looking at a net profit of about 57.5 crore for Q2. And Mother Sumi Systems, we are looking at a net profit of about 182 crore. The auto numbers for the month of September are going to be out. Uh, no major action likely. Uh, we are looking at a YOY degrowth of about 3 to almost about 9% for the two wheeler majors like Bajaj Auto. Uh, only Hero Motor Corp uh, could report about almost about 8.7% kind of a YOY growth. Uh, but overall, uh, number expectation for this month is not that great. And similarly, for the commercial vehicle and the car manufacturer startup motors, we are looking at a YOY D growth of almost about 34%. Mahindra Mahindra, the automotive division, we are looking at a D growth of almost about 22%. However, the tractor division is likely to report a growth of almost about 14%. Similarly, for Maruti, we are looking at a net uh, growth of almost about 4.6% to about uh, 1,7,000 uh, units. Uh, 
So overall, uh, it's going to be muted, uh, the notable exp exception being the tractor division of Mahindra Mahindra and to some extent uh, the three-wheeler division of TVS Motors and of course Hero Motor Corp, uh, we are looking at a growth of about 9%. The uh, post uh, closing uh, of the markets yesterday, the infrastructure uh, growth number, the core growth number came out and that was at much higher level of about 8% for the month of September, which is definitely a bit of a positive and this is led uh, essentially by coal, electricity and cement uh, units uh, and uh, also petrol prices have been cut by about 1.15 per litre and the diesel prices have been hiked by about 50 paise per litre. Uh, this is definitely a bit of a positive for the markets. Uh, Mr. Jignesh Shah has resigned from the board of uh, MCX. Uh, remember friends, there has been a big controversy which is going around NSCL and uh, there are also issues with respect to fit and proper status of uh, the MCX board. So with this resignation, uh, one can expect some up move in the MCX stocks over the next few days. And in corporate specific development, Billa Corp, which is a flagship company of MP Billa Group, would invest about 950 crore uh, to set up new units uh, in four states uh, like uh, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh, uh, which would add the capacity of about 4.5 million tons. ITC is looking at entering the uh, ready to drink fruit uh, juices segment and they are going to acquire a Bangalore based company Balan Natural Food Limited. Coming to the ideas, uh, friends, uh, Cesar Starlight came out with exceptionally good set of numbers yesterday and the uh, net profit was about 23.94 crore versus the expectations of almost about 1640 crore. So big positive surprise there. So one can go long there with the stop loss of 197 and a target of about 208 to about 212. HCL Technology, some positive news as the company has uh, got uh, the incremental FI limit uh, so that's a big positive from 30% the FI limit uh, has gone up to almost about 49%. So one can go long there with a stop loss of 1073 and a target of about 1028 to about 1149. IDFC came out with a good set of numbers. The numbers were more or less in line with uh, market expectations. So one can go long there with a stop loss of 104 and a target of about 109 to about 111. And Tata Motors DVR, the FI limit again has been increased from 61% to about 75%. This is only for the DVR, not for the Tata Motor normal equity share. So one can go long on the Tata Motor DVR with a stop loss of 190 and a target of about 200 to 204. That's it from all of us friends. For Diwali, we have also rolled out a basket of investment ideas. And this you can see in the other section on the YouTube as well as on the Sher Khan website where we have shortlisted the fundamentally sound stocks for investment of the 12 months kind of a horizon. That's it from all of us. Again, friends, have a great time and a great year ahead.